Okay, and here we are. Welcome, everybody. As you can see by the title there, we're going to be doing a randomizer for Pokemon Gen 1. I've done some of these before, but this one is a bit special because it adds Pokemon from later generations. It shuffles around the items, including key items, so you can end up getting something that lets you skip ahead. This is kind of a fun thing to just kind of turn on every once in a while. Now let me just say goodbye to the Teddy screen. I always wanted to show this one off. Oop. Alrighty. Check this. Make sure we got the fast options there. The goal is to beat the game in one sitting. Also, yeah, music is shuffled around, in case you couldn't tell. Oak is now alas. That is a pit of. Is a very cozy picture. Yes, it is. Call me Red. Because why not? I'll save on faster text instead of putting Asprey in. Okay, Red. Go ahead and get in there. And the item inside the PC should also be randomized. Okay, we got vanilla palette down music. The potion is now TM25. It's Dizzy Punch. Not sure how useful that's going to be. Oh, hey, Rekeko. Thank you. Okay, Blue Sister is now my mom there. Giovanni is walking around outside. And Oak is... Just some random youngster. Let's do that. Yeah, I did notice that, Miner. The last door stream is doing pretty decent. It's very nice to see people giving the horror streams a chance. Okay, Blue is just some lady. So we're gonna pick a random starter. They should all be a basic Pokemon, though. Do that. You can see why this is chaos. Okay, we got a Penguin. That's probably getting taken. We got a, a Turtle. Um, the odds of that happening are pretty... If this is a Chimchar, I'm buying a lottery ticket. Okay, no. Yeah, we're taking Piplup. If we're going fast, Piplup is easily the best one here. Yes, we took a Charmander. Yes, we did. Nickname? Now let's go. Two Gen 4s. The odds of that happening... You're not actually going to have a Turtwig, though. Wait, Red, let's check out her Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. Piplup is a Hermit Crab? Well, they're replacing Pokedex entries that are already in the system, right? Blue wants to fight. Blue is Brock, and he's got a Sligu. It's Penguin time. I got Dragon Claw, Slam, Stun Spore, and Metronome. Well, I think we know who's winning this matchup. Heck yeah. Pokemon TCG OST. Yeah, I believe that... Oh, Fire Punch. You ain't doing nothing with that. The music it can take from is some fan-made demixes, uh, Gen 2, Pokemon TCG on Game Boy, and Pokemon Prism. What's unbelievable? I picked the wrong Pokemon. Two levels off that one fight. Make my Pokemon fight to toughen it up. Excellent. So yeah, if you've never seen me do these one-offs before, usually my goal is to just beat the game as fast as possible while just putting a bunch of wacky settings on. It's fun to do every once in a while. I believe the last one I did was like, I used a Trico. What's the potion? A Thunderstone. Okay, I don't have anything to use a Thunderstone on. We're probably just going to be using Empoleon to slaughter everything, so that's good. You can tell that this Kanto is cursed because there's a bunch of Chandlers just wandering around. Okay, level 2. It's probably going to have some status moves, so let me be careful here. How's the volume, everybody? I know I'm kind of streaming a bit suddenly here. I had taken today off to edit, but I was kind of not feeling up for it. I want to do something else first. Then I'll get back to it. Poison powder. My penguin is poisonous. No, thank you. Gen 1 poison is not good. Early surf is the holy grail right there, yeah. Skip loom. Okay, then. Let's get that free experience points. Penguin seems to level up pretty darn fast. I'm lucky that I'm bumping into level 2s as well. Yeah, I spent, like, all of yesterday and the day before editing. I'm like, I, I want a break. I want to do something else. Let me see here. I actually don't really need to heal. I walked in there. I'm like, wait, I didn't take damage. A tiny bit of damage. The Pokemart has the Pokemon Center music. Now, Oak's Parcel has to be that. Otherwise, the game is impossible. 
Like, if you find a key item in the overworld, you can still find it in its vanilla location. That way you can't just get, like, stuck and unable to beat the game. Let's go, go, go. Penguins are the future. Steel type and dark type should be added. I think fairy type should also be in, too. I can never remember. I don't think you can randomize the player sprite, because not every NPC has, like, walking animations. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure this specific tool has been, like, long since abandoned. So I don't know if- I don't- it's not really getting updated. Let's see. But what it has right now is, like, more than enough to play it for, like, ever. Okay, he gave us the decks, now we're gonna leave. The town map is still gonna be the town map, but I can find the town maps in the wild, if that means. Blue is just some random lady sprite. But in battle, he's Brock. Technology's amazing. Shopkeeper. Let's go up here. We're gonna bump into some friends along the way. We've got Gen 2 Kanto music for encounters. I'm getting really lucky bumping into level 2s, because these Pokemon are evolved and could probably shred me. Now, chat, I can't fully remember. Um... Piplup's evolutions are level 16, 36, right? Or is it one of those random mons that has, like, uh, level 17 or 35 or something crap like that? Okay, it is? Yeah. Every, like, other generation, they just kind of do that. Minin is looking pretty positive. Level 9. Excellent. Go, 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 go. Now we're gonna go ahead and heal this time. I probably should grab some potions and antidotes, just in case we get destroyed. This guy is working the Pokemon Center, but uh, he he's playing his Game Boy. Fun fact about the guy on the couch, that's actually not an NPC sprite. That's actually just the couch's sprite, so that's why he can't be randomized. Because he's literally built into the couch, visually. Take an antidote, take a paralyzed heal. Does he not sell potions? No, then I'll take a second antidote. I'll have to get something that can cut later on, but not right now. Oh, hang on. There's an item over here. There's no reason to bother with rival battle, too. Yeah, you could get some extra experience, but it's too slow. Oh, sweet. Well, here's my extra stack gains for skipping that battle. More defense. It's been a while since I've used a Piplup for anything. We got any Piplup fans in chat? It is a very boopable penguin friend, isn't it? Giovanni's there, the scientist is there. A Piplup plushie would be nice. Empoleon is pretty cool. They added that thing to Pokken, didn't they? But, like, I stopped playing Pokken by that point because it seemed like everyone else did. Let me see. Oh, hey, the captain. And Giovanni. Forest is cursed. And we get to do... We get to skip the rocket hideout now. That Chandler probably placed it by the tree, and I just stole it. Let's go. Pokeball. Well, there's that. Also, this Demix, it's a turn of forest from Gen 4. Very comfy. Let's fight some trainers. We're gonna need experience for Brock. The ghost, uh, well, here's the thing, you can't randomize ghost because, um, the Pokemon, they're they actually are, are the randomized. They're gonna appear as a ghost unless you have the Silt Scope, though. Also, I got really lucky having Dragon Claw. I don't want to have to rely on Metronome. Ooh, hell yes. Uh-oh. It's level 6. Calm down. Low kick. Dragon Claw is fine. Metronome's too risky. It dug a hole. Of course it did. Of course it did. Maybe I'll get this and fly, then. I missed. Dig has a power of 100, because Gen 1. Let's 
Okay, we leveling up fast at least. Wait, rival one? Oh, okay. I didn't realize, I forgot that his class was randomized to that. Uh oh. Uh, Yen Mega? I can kind of see his head there, but it's a little crusty looking. Defense curl. Well, dragon special. This is fine. Flash? Well, I don't need that. Let's see. I can do rock tunnel without, um... Yeah, I can just do rock tunnel without it. Or I can just not do rock tunnel at all, because I got the... I can go to Saffron now. Never mind. Two skips back to back. Sure, I'll stretch a little bit. I don't have a potion, so we're just gonna go right for the last guy and try and beat him. If he sends me back to the center, it's fine, but the other guy will pro could probably have stuff that'll kill me. I'm trying to go fast. A repel? That could be useful in Mount Moon. And we gotta get the hidden item in front of him. Oh my... Scouted seed. Scouted seed, everybody. <laughs> Holy crap, man. This is the god seed. Give it a slam. Absolutely staged. <laughs> this forest gave me three gigantic skips. Like, unbelievable. I can use the lemonade to get into... Uh, oh, okay. There's the cost. There's the cost. He's gonna kill me. Lemonade gets me into Saffron, so I can skip Rock Tunnel. Silph Scope means I don't have to go to the Rocket Hideout. Uh, I'm gonna Stun Spore you. Okay, he doesn't have real moves. Okay, this does more. No, it does a critical hit, that's why. Let's see. Critical hit. Focus Energy is worthless, bro. Why are you using that? Short Stream indeed, you're telling me. I don't think I'm beating this this pace. I nearly gasped when I read HM3, and then I'm like, wait, does it still actually teach Surf? Still need Koga's badge. Hello, there's someone also found Surf, clearly. I still need Koga's badge to use it, and unless I find strength, I'm still gonna have to go to the Safari Zone to get the gold teeth. Or I could find gold teeth el elsewhere. I don't have every hidden item memorized in Gen 1, but... I try to remember that one, because it's useful in a rando. Mr. Uh, yeah. Self president is just chilling right there, no problem. I think you have Piplup a little too early, like 12 years too early. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Stop right there, kid. The balding president wants to fight. He's got a Growlithe. I got a Penguin. Surf's up, chat. Mega Kick. Bro, that has 120 power. And 75 accuracy. Everyone is blue today. Yeah, they are. Zigzagoon. Uh, you looking okay there? Oh, if he, if he freezes me with Ice Punch, then I'm just gonna cry. But he had Haze, so that was also okay. Darn. Light years measures time, not distance. Yo, what's up, Rock? Let's do it. Oh, hey, Gen 2 Kanto music. Random cue ball wants to battle. Oh, great. Why does that bay leaf look like it's melting? Oh, we paralyzed each other. It has fire spin for some reason. Oh, fantastic. Gen 1 fire spin. Oh, goodbye, world record pace. World record pace, because no one's played this seed before but me. Okay, we got him. Never mind, he has full heal still. This is really bad. Like, really, really bad. I might have to go and beat a few wild Pokemon. Didn't expect him to slaughter me that bad. Let me see if I can just buy some potions as well. 
Not much point in healing the paralysis. Well, I guess I could while... Hold up. Got escape ropes there. Do that. We're gonna need to get by him. How close is Piplup to a level? It might be best to maybe get Primplup. 71. There could be some legendaries in the grass down there. I need to make sure that Bayleaf dies in like two hits because it has paralysis and fire spin. I'm never going to get to attack it. Unless I just like reset with a godlike metronome. Yo, what's up, Ariados? Looking a little. Looking like you're falling on hard times here. How much do you give? 58. No problem, no problem. Maybe I should have fought that extra bug catcher. Oh, hey, Seismitoad. You're a chunky boy. You'll give some stuff, I hope. It's ne it's actually neutral. Don't worry. Gen 1 messaging is just weird. Okay. Aurora Beam. Ice coverage. That's actually what I need. Um, Metronome is trash. Let's not pretend I'm going to get anything good with it. I'm not even sure if Metronome can actually call new moves. Go, go, go. Yeah, this thing will give me EXP. I don't know Aurora Beam's power in Gen 1. Oh, 145 on that. Okay, yeah, we'll get a Primplup. 305, let's do it. This is a little annoyingly slow, but I feel like I'm going to waste more time if I just try and go back into Brock. Aurora Beam is already good enough but may as well evolve. I don't want to catch it. I'm steamrolling everything with, um, with Penguin. There's no need to raise a very team if the goal is just to beat it in one sitting. 97. Actual Gen 1 Pokemon right there. A lot of the Gen 1 Mons actually also use their Pokemon Green sprites to blend in and look crusty as well. Oh, hey, Malamar. Everybody is here. Everybody. Penguin wins. Too bad I can't just steamroll Brock with this Geodude and Onyx. Instead, he has to have a frickin' Bayleaf with Fire Spin. Fire Spin works like rap, by the way, in Gen 1. So you just don't get to move. If you're wondering why I'm worried so much about it. Okay, let's evolve. I hope it has a real back sprite, because a lot of these don't have proper back sprites, so they just kind of recycle their top sprites. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Drain punch, um... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Why not? Grinplup is a very middle evolution Pokemon for sure, but... Um, he looks like he's going through some growing pains. Let's do it. T-posing. Doesn't matter, we've picked up three really good items for skipping. And skip entire sections, and- but, but I have to make sure I route extra experience points into that. It's not important in Viridian Forest. Don't worry. We'll do it. Because you don't want to skip too much and go to the Elite Four under-leveled if you're soloing with one Pokemon. Okay, here it comes. Just hit it with a Roar Beam and we'll be okay. Okay, it has a real back sprite. Good, that looks, that looks nice. And there we go. Oh, perfect. It's a good thing I actually trained up, because this thing... No, it doesn't look like... Oh, it has Sonic Boom. Okay, never mind. Nice, here we go. Something that is nice, though, is that most trainers will have evolved Pokemon when they normally don't, so you're gonna get extra EXP from that. Let's do it. TM34. Okay... 
TM-34 is actually a max repel. All right, then. We have a repel and a max repel, so I guess we can just go through that. By the way, we are going to um, buy the Magikarp when we get to the, the Pokemon Center. We're going to probably hope that's something that can use, like, cut and strength and all that for us. Okay. Goal right now, get Empoleon as fast as possible. Let's do it. I've done a whole run with this with Regigigas. I don't think it was that great. You're looking very tiny. Let's get some health back. Oh, good. Gen 1 Amnesia. Take a physical move. And that is how we heal. Saving a few seconds by skipping that Pokemon Center. Excellent. This is making me wonder what a Gen 4 D-Make would be like. Like, imagine playing Gen 4, but everything is styled with, like, Gen 2 assets. I'd love that. Everybody is blue. Dabba dee, dabba die. Ooh, that's a decent per ugly. And a decent target for Drain Punch. Bone Rush. Yeah, that's right. Per ugly is really fast for some reason. Really, really fast. Bada bing, bada boom. The repels aren't too bad because it means I can speed through Mount Moon. Beautiful. Yeah, I'm saying so far, I don't regret my decision to, um, just do a little one-off rando today. This is going quite well. This is easily some of the best item luck I've ever had. Not to mention we get a whole-ass starter Pokemon. You know what I love about getting a random starter like this, though? I get to put in the title, Gen 1 Randomizer, and in the thumbnail for YouTube, I can put in Piplup, and people will be like, what? Piplup's not a Gen 1 Pokemon. Oh, hey, Sabrina. How you doing? And that's the fun of it. Give people lots of questions so they click on the video. And then they get there and they're like, no, I'm trapped. I have to watch the whole thing. True, this is how it works. This is what they teach you at YouTuber school. That Bagon is very tiny. Get rid of him. Last little randomizer I did was, um, earlier this month was Resident Evil 4. That one was super fun. And I was thinking maybe next week if I can, I wanted to do another Link to the Past rando because people were showing me that there's now a Hamtaro player sprite. Oh, geez, you okay, bro? You look a little stretched. Yeah, there's a Hamtaro player sprite, and I thought you guys would absolutely adore that one. Last time we played as Teddy Ursa, and that was also cute. Let me see. Spupa. Okay, he's bug. I thought it was grass bug. No, that's the that's the Unova bug. What am I saying? Numo looks like he does not want to be here. It's like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I see ya. Long neck. The fungus is a mungus. This is a good variety of moves right now, I have to say. I don't think I need a steel move. Steel typing is just going to give me resistances, I feel. Yeah, what the heck, I'll fight you too. We're going to skip a bunch of trainers in Mount Moon anyway, so let's get the extra XP. Got to account for the fact that we don't have to do Rock Tunnel or Rocket Base at all. It's really easy to skip doing the Rocket Base, by the way. Even if you don't find the Self Scope, you can just buy a Polka Doll. If you've seen my video on um, the Gen 1 sequence breaking, you'll know what I mean. Excellent. That's a very fluffy friend. He looks like a plushie. 24 minutes. The slowest part of a Gen 1 random rando is by far the beginning. Let's see. So cute, isn't it? Ooh. That's a good looking Gen 1 barbacle. Look at that. It's evolved in lower level. We'll get it for the AXP. Nice. Type themed. Let's get him. Rare to see Kabutops. I don't think any trainers in the game have Kabutops or Omastar. Only Lance has a fossil being Aerodactyl. Eek, did you just touch me? No, I did not. 
Barbacle is kind of like one of those random Pokemon that just kind of exists. I think I only remember it because um, the Elite Four member in Kalos has it, right? Hey, the water dude. But it is just like, hey, water rock type. It's like, yeah, that that's a thing. We already have like three of those. Yeah, Seabold, Sebold, however you say it. Everything is golden, everything is great. There's items to pick up in Mount Moon. Was there something here? No, I think I'm thinking of something else. Okay, place your bets. What is the Magikarp gonna be? I'm gonna say that it's gonna be Arceus and it's gonna be a steal. Oh, I'm selling it to me, and my mom works the Trade Center? Well, that's interesting. If I got a deal for you... Oh, it's a Meatang. Oh, it has Soft Boiled. <laughs> Can't really use that, though. There's always a chance you can find something, and it has an HM move, by the way, so... Okay. Let's use up the Repels. Oh, nice. Union Cave music. I like Gen 1 music a lot, but Gen 2 music... It oh, I, I don't need that. Wait. Wait. Um, I still have to see Bill, though, to get the cop out of the way. That doesn't do anything. Damn it. <laughs> That's not gonna do anything. Because until I pick up the ticket, um, the guy's gonna block the house in Cerulean anyway. We can go over here to get the item, because I know you guys like seeing the random items, and it could give me a massive skip, so let's do it for the extra fight and experience. Gen 2 music is so good, yeah. That's why I love getting to do really long playthroughs of Gen 2. Like, Fool's, Glo Fool's Gold was fantastic. Oh, hey, I just mentioned Aerodactyl a moment ago. Rocket Grunts or Jugglers? He got Bug Buzz. Aerodactyl is one of the fastest Pokemon in Gen 1, so not shocking. He's like literally third place behind Jolteon and Electrode. Ooh, that's a lot. Okay, Drain Punch gives me the coverage to deal with Ice types. <gasps> no, not the little bear! Sorry, we have to punch it. I don't like hitting the bears, chat. That makes me sad. It reminds me of the time I did a randomizer playthrough of Crystal with only Teddy Ursa. That was fun. I kind of want to do something like that again. Maybe with, like, Gen 3. TM41. I can't imagine the TMs being worth a damn anymore. Leech Seed. No, Gen 1 Leech Seed is not good. Drains too slowly. Same with Poison. Or the Badly Poison counter, I mean. You only have 20 item slots, so you're gonna have to ditch a lot soon. Maybe sell some. I'm gonna battle you, come on. Let's do it. Junior Trainer wants to fight. Here comes Nita Queen. Easiest battle ever. I have an elixir, don't I? I found something like that, so I don't have to worry about PP at the moment. Shiftry. Uh, Shiftry, okay. L look at that, like, uh... Look at that, like, chin. <laughs> Is that Shiftry, or did someone just take, like, a Jay Leno doll and throw, like, a bunch of fur on it? My Pokemon won't do... All right, let's see what we got. Oh! That's okay, I guess, but, like, I don't need to catch anything. That's good. Can you keep getting through the cave? Didn't I just pick that up? 41. Yes, I have two of them now. It's literally the same TM. Okay. I'll fight you too. Um, the only way I could skip going to the cape to fight Bill, uh, to go to Bill, right? To drink algae, is if I somehow get cut before I need to go to the cape. 
Because that way I could just use the cut tree at the bottom of Cerulean and not have to bother moving the, the officer out of the way. And I can just use the SS ticket I picked up. Green version Haunter. If I could just randomly find Cut, that would be great. Okay. So I say we should just go for every item I can possibly get my hands on. May have to drop some stuff soon. There's two items here, one on the rock and one above me. I'm gonna fight this guy. If we have to skip the cape, the downside of that is that there's so many trainers there that you want- you obviously like the experience. That fox looks like it just got, like, a little static electricity all its hair standing up. Hydrate, don't mind if I do. Also, I have very nice, uh, HP. Oh, already feeling much better, chat. Like I said, I didn't sleep the best. What do we got? Yeah, it's whatever. I already have some. Um, that's good. <laughs> I can get the bike as soon as I get to Cerulean. That's not the key item I had in mind, but that saves me from going to Ver Vermilion. <laughs> wow. Usually I only find like a couple key items. I'll take that. Hang on, we can use that on Surf. Or actually, it might be better to use it on Drain Punch. Because Drain Punch only has, uh, 10. Surf has 15. Don't need to fight these guys. Wow, this is the, easily the most key items I've found in a run so far, and we're only at the start. Repel's effect wore off. We need to make space. Let's use the Super Repel. Finding just enough repels, too, to keep this going. That's great. I'll fight you. I think I'm on pace to get to Empoleon decently fast. Um, there's not really much in the way of gift Pokemon I can get to maybe have a uh, cut. Because it's very possible that you could just buy the Magikarp, and it could be a Pokemon that just automatically knows cut or strength. I've heard of that happening. Oh. Um, I say... I have ice for dragons now. I say Dragon Claw can go. Yeah, that's 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 fair. Replace this coverage is fine. Dragon Claw is just kind of a standard special attack right now. Aurora Beam is eh, but you can always get Gen 1 Blizzard or something as well. Let's do it. Flamethrower is also real good. What is this penguin? This penguin is the penguin. This penguin is popping off. Pardon me, I'm just holding back a hiccup here. Ow. Not to mention, uh, fairy types should come into play, so a dragon won't even affect them. I think I might have my moves for the rest of the game, but if Ice Beam comes along, I'll happily get rid of it. Stantler, you're looking a little noodly. This is fun. I wonder how far I can get by the one hour mark. Okay, hidden item up ahead. This is usually a moonstone, fun fact. TM-36. That lady's gonna guard the fossils. Counter- Ew, counter is so bad in Gen 1. It only works on normal and fighting moves. And considering the expanded move pool, it's even more worthless here. Okay, I see what they're going for with that one. It's nice. Okay, let's hit him with the hard stab option. We're high enough level to slaughter you. 25. Special's at 51. Oh, there's our first fairy type. I don't think I really need to learn a steel move to deal with fairies. I can just use stab surf. Excellent. Test your knowledge. Junior trainer defeated. I love that pose they're doing. Yeah, sure. Usually when you get to Cerulean, that's when you need to start boxing some items, because you're not going to be able to carry much. 
Hi, Mina. Thank you for the raid. Welcome to Absolute Chaos. I have found so many key items just getting here. It's ridiculous. Nothing here, right? That's where the tutors are in uh, Gen 3. Hang on. I think it's over here. Yeah. TM12. Everything is extra spooky. I found Surf in Viridian Forest, and I also found the Sylph Scope in Eliminate for the Saffron Guard. And then I found the Bike Voucher in the Mount Moon. Like, this, this, this run is popping off. Okay. Oh, Repel War off. That's fine. Let's go give the guy the Bike Voucher first. We're gonna be we're needing to ride the bike a lot. I'm sorry, Gen 1. Oh, hey, Lorelei. You're selling bikes now? Falling on hard times. Well, hope the business works at those prices. Okay, now we're gonna put the bike at the top. Oh, I did find a Master Ball, but I literally don't need it, so <laughs> there's no point to that. Gen 2 bike music, that's at least nice. He held me back to health. Yep, yep, he's playing on his Game Boy, though. He's busy. Okay, so there's only one more item to check. If this next item is, um... Cut, then I can skip the no whole northern section. Hi, me. If it's not, I have to go to Bill. Because the SS ticket's not gonna work. Hang on. I always have the wrong row. DM30. Please teach cut. That can happen. Haze. Nope. Alright, we gotta go through the cape after all. Man, what a shame. Finding the SS ticket, but I still have to go to Bill so the cop will move. That's so lame. What if Misty gives cut? Also, yeah, look at that. <laughs> the officer's a, fl a flying Pokemon. Misty's TM could be cut. Yeah. It's a long shot, but if this works... Oh. Jesus, scientist. I knew this is where they were hiding. Look at that. Let's do it. Oh, hey, it's just a uh, rival again. <laughs> Why is everybody him? This is officially a blue version playthrough, if you know what I mean. Paddle dance! Well, that's not good. Thank you, Adelaide, for the resub there. I appreciate it. Did I miss? I think I missed. You have got to be kidding me. That was terrifying. Hang on. I should be okay to drain punch. Mock Punch? Well, good thing it didn't do damage, but holy moly. Nice. We're not gonna waste time going back to the Pokemon Center. We're doing speedrun strats. Oh, hey, Blue Sister, Daisy. I got Lemonade, we're not using that. No way in hell. That's our ticket to skip and rock tunnel. Use one, fight you. Well, thank you, I appreciate that, friend. Hmm. Blue, I mean Gary, I mean green. But in blue version, he's also called red. Gudra, that's our second Gudra. Look at all the friends. We we have a lot of people here. That's usually um expected though, isn't it? Soft boiled only spreads existing HP, so it's not that great. In Gen 1, I mean. You see, what was I saying? Yeah. Random Gen 1 Pokemon rando. Of course we're gonna get people here. This is usually the type of thing that gets new people here, too. Um, here, let me show you. Yeah. And that's why I'm not using Soft Boiled. Because this is how it works. Go for it. There we go. No, 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 it's fine. I was just pointing out. People don't usually know because in Gen 1, Chansey's the only one that can use um, Soft Boiled, and it can only learn it by TM, which is why literally no one ever used it. I'd have to level up the Meatang for Soft Boiled to be worth it. Okay, nice. I got a crit. Also, Random Tamer and Fiona. Fungus? Oh, girl, this is free. 
The fungus is a moongus, everybody. That weapon lollipop aren't helping you out now. Yeah, Chansey could not naturally learn soft-boiled until Gen 2. Isn't that, like, the most ridiculous thing ever? Okay, let's hope this is cut. Comet Punch. Well, it's a normal move that's worthless, so it was halfway there. <laughs> Hang on, we should just go quickly sell some of these useless TMs that we're never gonna use. I feel like I should make a save. I'm worried about things crashing. Get out of the way, bro. We need space for more items we'll pick up. Where's the two Leech Seed TMs? Can't sell the Master Ball. I don't remember what this one is. Just get rid of it. There we go. The rest I can pretty much store. It doesn't matter. Let's go fight the rival. I'm kind of curious what the in-game trade has been randomized to. What if he wants a Mitang for a Mewtwo? That technically could happen, but it's not going to. I don't think I've ever seen anyone get a run where their backup Pokemon happened to be the uh, requirement for the trade. Also, Swellow's looking a little bit fancy today. And it has Sludge. Nice. Okay, that's a little bit of an upgrade from Abra. Oh, that's not good. You need to die very, very quickly. Like, right now. Why do you have sp Okay. Don't have an awakening, do I? No, I do not. Why do you have head smash? Actually, that's good. It'll take you out. Yeah, do that. Do that, you jerk. Do that. Hang on. If that's his plan, be my freaking guest. Vast asleep. Spike cannon. Vast asleep. He missed. Spore. He got me. Oh! I may as well get a drink and just mash A until we're out of here. Any day now. Hit five times. Okay, good. I got real lucky he had head smash. Let's be real. Bulldock. Okay, woke up. He's got slam. He's throwing. No one willingly plays slam. Ever. That was almost bad. <laughs> almost bad. Excellent. 28. Slugma, what happened to you? <laughs> you look like you have antlers. You're a little too cursed. Alrighty. Let's see how, how many of these we can get done. Thank you, Pop, for the resub there. I appreciate that. You've reached a whole year. Look at you. Okay, let's take out some of them. We're at the Gauntlet of Trainers. I got early SS ticket, but no way to get... I still have to see Bill to get out of um, the city, which is so lame. At least I don't have to make inventory room for the ticket, but he's gonna force to force it me to take it anyway, so... Bro, what is the pawn yard? What it... Look at that thing. Everyone's a rival. I'm a rival. Everyone is. I don't know who decided Pokemon need to learn Slam at level 40, but that seems to be a Gen 1 rule. Penny Lil. Now, the reason you want to be overleveled is because you don't want to be outsped by anything that can use Spore. Especially in Gen 1, where you if you wake up on the turn, you still have to wait for the next one to attack again. Excellent. Bug catcher. How can I lose? 
Number three won't be easy. I get the feeling it will be very easy. Sabrina wants to fight. Big bear. Big bear. Chat, a teddy has been spotted in the wild. Look at all the EXP I'm getting. Soloing with my print plop. Victory bell. I'm at full health again, and I got an elixir. I may as well save myself the trip to the Pokemon Center and just keep going. Cherubi. Look at you, little purple friends. Pikachu gets slam at level 20. That's true. But Pikachu is Pikachu. They have to nerf it somehow. <laughs> Worst part about moves in Gen 1 is that you can't check their power or description. Unless you have Pokemon Stadium. Oh, did I hit? I did. Oh well. That's fine. Wow, the other one did more. Okay. Wait. Skrelp? Oh, it's Water Poison. It's not Dragon yet. Silly me. I always forget that. Drain punch, just walk up to it, punch it in the gut. Remove knife, fire blood. There we go. Dragalgy helped me in a few, um, a few runs of Emerald Rogue. Dragalgy is a great special user. I still don't know what the hell I'm doing in Emerald Rogue sometimes, but it's, it's a fun game to turn on every once in a while. Damn, drain punch is the only standard move here, huh? I want to save some drain punches, though. Let's, uh... Damn it. Yeah, use a flamethrower. Okay, that was a crit. No problem. Do you guys think I'll have Empoleon by the time I reach Brock? Or, sorry, uh, Bill? Hang on, there's an item up in the corner there. A revive? Damn it. I still have a chance to get cut and I could turn back. That'd be sick. A balding evil president. He was actually a juggler. Here's a golet. <clears throat> okay. Sylph's chief. He's that guy, all right. Looking a little bit tiny there. Still weak to this. Your special is garbage. Oh, you are good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not interested in joining that the juggler group. Another Thunderstone? At least it doesn't take up more space. Okay. Let's try and go past as many people as we can. I don't think... I think I squeezed in a lot of extra experience because many people have... Hey, Lance, how's it going? Many people have, um... Evolve Pokemon or Legendary, so I'm getting a crap ton of EXP. Let me see. About to run out of Drain Punch. I don't really have much to hit water types with. One of the most common types. If I get another PP up, I should use it on Drain Punch again. There's that item there, but... Honestly, this isn't so bad. Meow stick. The fact that I got, like, one of the best water stab moves right away also helps immensely. We're not getting close to 36 here. If I find cut, I can also just skip going on the SSN altogether. But you can... Really, the SSN is normally skippable anyway. You just don't have to check the cabins. By that point in the game, it's too much time and energy to try and hope a key item is in there, so I'd say we should skip them. Just go right for the rival and get the cut pickup. Me Tang should probably be able to learn cut, I hope. If not, we'll have to waste time catching something. Molga, get that away from me. Thirty-one. Are you okay? 
You all right there, friends? You don't you don't look all right. It doesn't really look like Laron. Explat now that one actually fits very well. That one is absolutely Gen 1 Explowed. Lance defeated. You got me. Okay, let's get you out of the way. I'm a cool guy. I got a girlfriend. Bro, his overworld sprite makes it look like he pays for his girlfriend. And it's rival again. Shield on. Splash. Everyone is rival. Everyone is rival. Oh, hey, it's VNA again. Hit him with my last rain punch, and I guess finish him with something. Dream Eater! Bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? Ah, oh, darn. TM40. I doubt it knows cut, but if it knows strength, I'll take that too. That saves me the Safari Zone trip. Hypnosis! Oh, boy. I don't want that. Alright, last trainer. Let's get him. I have no many- I have no idea how many times I've played Kanto. Probably more than the average person. Maybe. The TMs could randomly teach HM moves, but the HMs will still teach their HMs. Okay, you're looking a little weird. I once had a random TM at the start that taught Surf. And that was cool. I'm pretty sure I still had to go to the Safari Zone for the Gold Teeth, though, so... Yeah, I found Lemonade and Viridian Forest, so I can do Saffron. Or, I can do Rock Tunnel Skip, I should say. Team Rocket! Oh no, he built a Corruption Machine! Turned him evil. Okay, then. Now we're gonna press Uncorrupt. Oh, your, your sprite looks weird there. Are you, are, I don't think you're supposed to be able to move. Now I have two tickets. Just like, let's go. <laughs> okay. All right, we're done here. Now the, guy, now the bird outside the house should move away. I should probably just stop in the Pokemon Center because I've used up like all my PP. Uh, maybe after the SSN is when I should ditch some key items. I want to check the, the in-game trade. Mm, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Let me just heal you up. It's like that Pokemon Center lady at Kitakami that's just playing on her phone. Uh, what? Okay, I think I... Oops, I think my controller disconnected for a second. Hey, do you want to trade your Bastiodon for a Growlithe? Bro, what a ripoff. What a ripoff! What's the TM for Dig gonna be? Giovanni's house? Oh no, not Giovanni's place. You know what happened to that house? The jugglers juggled too hard in there. He just breaks into your house and they juggle. That's what they do. Oh, that's a very good purloin, but it actually just looks like it's just traced over the, um... A Gen 5 sprite, I guess? Is it? I can't quite tell, but the shading on it's very nice. It fits. Swadloon, have I got something cozy for you. Excellent. Okay, I'll return it. What'd I get? Leech Seed. That is the third Leech Seed TM I have gotten here. Now I'm gonna go all the way back up. No registering, uh, key item in this. No reason to put anything in the daycare, either. And I don't remember where the hidden items are down here, so I don't care. Hey, do you have Pig Knight? Wanna trade it for Slugma? Bro! These people must think we're stupid. Did I just log on to the global trade station? 
All the way to the end. Hey, Giovanni, how you doing? We can go into Saffron now. Let's drop off the drink. Whoa, I'm parched. Welcome to Saffron City, everybody. Let's check Mr. Psychic. Maybe he's got something good for me. Wait, don't say a word. I did not want that, actually. All right, then. So, I could go get Cut, or I could just go to Lavender Town. I could get the gift Pokemon from up there, but they're probably matching my level, so that's probably not a good idea. Probably best to just go get Cut and then go beat Lieutenant Surge. Let's see. Let's do this. Let's go, go, go. Oh, hey, Hitmontop. How you doing? I think that's just the Gen 2 sprite with different shading. Does Game Boy Kid have a back sprite? Probably not. Fun fact, did you know that in Gen 1, the Nurse Joy's, um, back sprite is actually just her bowing? Like, she doesn't have an animation for bowing, they just set her back sprite, because she has no reason to turn around as her bowing, so whenever she bows, it's just the game telling her to look up. Also, Cursed Sawsbuck. It's a fun little dev trick I like to share there. 568... And there it goes, dead. Oh, here comes Jay Leno Shiftry. I say we just heal at the center. Vine Whip, get the hell out of here. No. We heal at the center, we go through, um... We run through the SSN right quick. And we get cut and then just go beat Surge. And then we can just go to Saffron because we can skip Rock Tunnel. Rival 2. Houndoom is looking a little grumpy. Mom said it's my turn on the Xbox. I'm using a Houndoom and Blaze Black right now. It's actually pretty good. They gave it Intimidate in that game, so... Works pretty damn great with Snarl. Ah, uh, Roar Beam. What am I doing? Marshmallow Bird is down. Rival 2 defeated. This game is just non-stop rival battles. It's suddenly like we're playing Unova. Why is Vine with 10 PP, but Razor Leaf is 25 when, it, when it's busted in Gen 1 with the crit rate? Yeah. It's so silly. I want to check the in-game trade. Yeah, Persian, want to trade it for Victini? Okay, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Too bad I don't have a Persian. Got the SS ticket. Let's get in there. I think there's one room at the start I guess I could pop, pop my head into. Okay. SN SSN music is comfy. Not this one. The item luck has been really good, and I feel like pushing it. I think it's this one. There we go. Sabrina wants to fight. Maractus. Oh no! This is what happens when you grow a Maractus with the wrong fertilizer. Come give me a hug. We'll play together. <laughs> My voice was not ready to do that impression. Soda. That would have been good if I didn't already find the lemonade, but it's nice that it's there. Okay. I could just check the rare candy room. Was it this one? No. Nope. Yeah, we'll just check this one and that's it. Then it's rival battle and we move on. Looting this whole place takes too damn long. And we've already gotten such absurd key item luck that 
It's gonna be really unlikely that I'll find anything that would save any extra time. Penguin, punch it. Not to mention, finding, like, any extra, like, calciums and all that can be nice. Vitamins. TM44. If this is another damn leech seed. I feel like I've seen 44 a lot. Double edge. Eh. If I had, like, Tauros or something. Okay, that's it for the SSN. I remember when I did a Suicune only run for Fire Red. Um, I think it was in the SSN that I actually found, like, the TM for, like, Calm Mind or something, and that helped me, like, sweep the whole damn game. Oh, green version Vulpix. He looks like a little toy. Rival 2 is actually, uh, Gentleman now. He went from Junior Trainer to Gentleman? How much time has passed since we've seen this man? Meow. Ooh. Level that up a little bit, and some guy's got a trade waiting for you. Keldeo. That's the second damn Keldeo I've seen. It's got, luckily, it doesn't have moves. I don't know what Keldeo's stats are normally like. Ooh. Gen 1 Focus Energy. Amnesia TM would be fantastic. Amnesia is so busted in Gen 1, since the special stat covers two stats, essentially. Hmm. At least you're raising your Pokémon. Get out of there. I wonder if the, if the final rival sprite will match the overworld one. Hey, Captain, what's up? Captain is now Erica. Oh, I don't have room for it? Piss off. I might need to catch something. Hang on. Spore. I mean, maybe. Obviously, I don't need Hypnosis. If I have Spore. Spore might be a funny backup thing to put on a backup Pokemon. Like, whatever replaces the Eevee or something. Excellent. God, I knew it. I have to catch something. No, wait, 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 hang on. I could just storm. I could go get the Eevee and the Hitmon check. One of those has to be able to learn cut. That would save me the trouble of trying to catch something random in the wild. Because the catch rates are going to be all over the place, so I want to avoid that. I didn't buy an escape rope. I don't think you can use them here, actually. I don't remember. Also, hi, Mr. Fuji. There it goes. Yeah. That's the only reason you want to pick up the random gift Pokemon, is, um... So they can just learn random HMs to use. Gen 1, Gen 1 sprites can look a little bit eerie sometimes. Gosh, you know, I should mention this one again. It's been a while. Let me see here. That fan game that Shade made I played the other year. They made an entire Yume Niki-like Pokemon game out of Gen 1 assets called Cyclical Recurrences. That's one of, that was was that that one was a fun playthrough. I like that. I want to play more weird cool games like that. It should be in the Pokemon Horror Games playlist like Pokemon Dusk and uh, Nightmare Invasion. Marathon that whole thing. There we go. Um, hang on. Yeah, let's go up here. I'm gonna fight you. Because I'm close to Empoleon, and I want to steamroll the fighting dojo. Let's go. Tepig. That Tepig looks like it's got an attitude. Haven't found a single rare candy yet. Chat, I want you all to place a bet. Between the Eevee and the Hitmon, what Pokemons do you think I'm going to pick up? Any Legendaries? Any Duds? Anything that can actually learn Cut? Excuse me, sir. 
I have the Sylph scope, so I don't have to go to Rocket Hideout or even buy the doll. But I do need to pick up what the Eevee is. Do that. I found early bike voucher, so I get early bike. You're gonna hear bike music a lot, sadly. I'm sorry. <laughs> but it's useful. Oh! Bailstone music! Okay. Where's it? Jubilife. Tranquil! And that learned cut? I could probably learn to fly. Damn it. Can't learn cut. It's Jubilife, yeah. Well, Hitmon it is. Nurse Joy's looking up. No, 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 no. Trying to go to the top here. Wait, wait, hang on. Oh my god, you're right! I totally forgot about that. This, for, for whatever reason, this rando always crashes and freezes when you pick up a gift Pokemon at the dojo, and I don't know why. How did I forget that? You're right! Hang on. TM4. Oh my god, come on. Don't need this. Let's try this. I guess I can't get the Hitmon pick up. I'll have to catch something. I could just use the Master Ball on something that looks like it could learn cut. This is not gonna be good. I'm gonna be annoyed though if I if I try to throw it at something and it's not gonna be able to cut because <laughs> the compatibility is randomized. Did I heal here. Stretch, stretch, hang on, hang on. I can do that. Oof. Playthrough is going just fine. One hour in and I've gotten a crap ton. Um, you know what I could do, actually? I could just go to Lavender, because there's a lot of items to pick up inside the, um... Yeah, the Pokemon Tower. Let's do that. Team Rocket's just a bunch of sailors. Let's do it. Quite a few peeps along the way. There's lots of items in the tower. I'm gonna have to ditch some, um... Really have to ditch some of my key items now. We don't need the SS tickets anymore, we can just put those away. Yeah, I think it might have something to do with how Gen 1's programmed, like, um... I don't think the item balls for Hitmonchan and Hitmonlee, they're, they're like... They're not programmed the same way as, um, the Eevee item ball. Like, maybe they're programmed as, like, an, an event or something? I don't know. A different... I, I, I'm, I'm doing a poor job of explaining it, but... Because there's two of them there, I think they just have, like, something else there that makes it break when the game tries to randomize them, because maybe it thinks they're items instead. Because I can't think of any other reason why it would always crash when you try and pick them up. Okay, let's do this. Esper's doing okay. Don't worry about Esper. Mantine is Mantine. That's not very effective, but it's actually neutral. Now, Mantine does not know how to karate chop. It's probably, yeah, it has something to do with the fact, because when you pick up one, the other one is locked up, so maybe that's the way the event trigger is set up has to be something that messes with the rando. That's all I can think of. It's been months since the last one. I don't remember if I tried to pick them up there. Or maybe it was the run before that, but as soon as someone mentioned that, I'm like, why did I forget that? Oh, God! It took me a second to process what I'm looking at. Is that an Ambipom or a mutated Teletubby? I'm gonna go with the latter. 
put it out of its misery. Arcanine is Arcanine. This is Gen 1 Sprite. Have we bumped into any Teddy Ursus in one of these? I, don't, I feel like we've never seen Teddy. Don't be so mean to Clefairy. Don't tell me what to do. Never tell me what to do. Alrighty, let's heal up. Let's go to the PC and ditch some items. We don't need the Helix Fossil either. Hi, Mom. Mom has to work at there now. Gotta pay the bills somehow. Don't need Thunderstones. Don't. I still need the Self Scope. I don't need to carry HM3 with me anymore, let's be real. There's no counter on this because you're never supposed to get one. The Master Ball I'm probably just gonna yeet at like the first Pokemon that comes along. Let's ditch these random TMs. There we go, that should be enough. Let's make a quick save, because I'm paranoid about crashes. In this economy, that's right. Oh, Ecratique music. Well, that's good. Some jackass can't try and claim Lavender Town. Ooh, Sprout Tower. Oh, Mom, you're also working here? Damn, she's busy lately. There's my rival. This battle should give me Empoleon. Unknown. <laughs> Is that supposed to be W? Should have been an L. Let's get it. Just like Sakura's brother Toya. She's got a new part-time job every day. You love to see it. Getting that Piplup for me was expensive. Bionicle. Ooh, even the Binnacle sprite looks good. Whoever did the Binnacle and, uh... Uh, whatever the hell the second one's called, I forget. Um, they look pretty good. Hello, Syrup Ghost. Let's get him. Let's see. 36, let's go. Clef Key. Get rid of it. You know what would be really funny? If they made a Paradox version of Clef Key, and instead of, like, uh, keys, it just has, like, card keys. <laughs> That'd be funny. Someone should do that. Random thought that just popped into my head. Come on, let's hope this looks good. Let it look good. Oh, yeah, that's acceptable. I like that. Hope the back sprite is nice. Bide? Oh, get out of here, bro. I want to win battles. We got the self scope, so we're going right to the top. This will also give us the Poke Flute, I guess. The Chandlers are just gentlemen. Okay. The Order of the Old Men. A Chinchilla with an Uwu face? Ooh, woo, I'm a spooky ghost. No, you're not. I see through your cringe with the self scope. Punch. Let's check that. No need to really fight the Chandlers. They only have like one or two Pokemon each. Do you have cut or strength? Well, we don't need cut anymore. Drain punch, I already have that. Well, damn, it's a good TM. Ooh, woo. Perhaps I should have bought some more repels. This is fine. Oh my god, the encounter right now. More keys. Hold up, actually. Yeah. I need to go buy repels. We're at the point in the game where they regularly sell them. And I might lose my money to a random dumb battle anyway, so let's do that. You have to resub at your computer at home. You can't spam the uwu emote right now. Oh, darn. You can uwu in spirit, though. Yeah, let's just get this trip out of the way right now. We'll buy max repels later. I think Cinnabar sells Max Repels, or maybe uh, Saffron can, but either way... 
I shouldn't have used it right there, but whatever. Anyways, we're going to the top. I got Empoleon. He's a cool penguin friend. Emperor Penguin. Alrighty, to the top. And now that I'm part steel type, that's probably gonna be better for the most part. It's just gonna I feel like it's gonna give me more resistances than weaknesses. Let's go. The old men. Everyone's running around being cursed while wearing top hats. Does that make them... Is, that, is this Bloodborne? I think it might be Bloodborne. Also, a Selagor. Set on fire. Oh, he blizzarded me. I was terrified of getting Gen 1 Freeze. I, I feel like maybe I should buy a couple Ice Heals in, keep, in case that happens. I didn't think about that. Gen 1 Freeze could absolutely just ruin the whole damn run. TM24. Strength. 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 Vine Whip. <sighs> Finding garbage is what I'm getting now. Did, did I not just pick up the... Okay. <sighs> Worse. I thought it was the same TM I just picked up. 47. Bubble. These are really trash. Hang on, there should be a northern item, maybe? Nah. Let's go. There's the heal. Now we'll just get you to move out of the way so we can go to the stairs. Give me your soul. Jugglers don't have souls. They juggle to fill the void with the pieces they've broken throughout their life. There's some deep crap like that. Punch the raccoon and let's move on. Gasp! Hang on, was there something on the bottom here? Candy? Um... Candy should probably be saved for the very end, so I can just give myself the extra levels going into the Elite Four. Leveling myself up right now along the way is worthless when I'm already overpowered. But I want to make sure I can be overpowered enough for, um, the Elite Four. They're juggling! The jugglers made deals with Kleffas and sold their souls. Oh no! Is that what the Clefas are doing now? Luring unsuspecting victims to the Shadow Realm? 37. If only Kanto had some Teddy Ursus. That would make everything better. Should have talked to him. Juggler wants to fight. Only thing I'd want to replace now is Aurora Beam with Ice Beam, but otherwise my moves are pretty well set to take on anything. Something fell out. Really? Ah! <laughs> oh. I should have tried coming here and I could have skipped the SSN. Well, at least it was in the pool. The Marowak is... Oh, it's a Tranquil. Yes. A Tranquil. I... don't have an explanation either. Uh... Well, I killed it. There's an item there, but I'm too lazy to get it. Let's just go. <laughs> I found cut. Too unlikely that could be, um... Oh, there's the funky Rilu! <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna fight you. Go, go, come get me. Yeah, you wanna fight? Yeah, yeah, let's go, bro. How about that? He's got that, like, low-quality cursed Muppet look to him. 
And Spupa's down. And Talo's down. Why does Riolu look like a Family Guy character? Oh, that's even more insulting than what I said. I'm not gonna forget about this. Who was that again? Juggler wants to battle. And he's got a Skrelp. Everything I do is resisted here, so just hit him with that hard stab. Roast? Oh, give me a break. Okay, good water pulse now. May as well get one HP back. Ooh, two. We living like kings tonight. Primeape? I'm scared of Primeape. Did you know Primeape can't even learn a fighting move in Gen 1? Unless you give it the submission TM. Seismic Toss doesn't count because it doesn't affect weaknesses and resistance. Fighting types were terrible in Gen 1. Shiftry looks like Quagmire from Family Guy in a plant costume. <laughs> giggity giggity! Tangrowth. Tangrowth does look like Tangrowth. I can give it that. Set it on fire. Mankey only learns low kick in yellow version, yeah. The reason they made that change was only for, um... So you had something to use against Brock. Because Pikachu can't fight Brock. That's true, though. Oh, that doesn't look like Sfeel! That looks like Sfeel at home. It's not round enough. What did they do to you, my boy? Well, no, the move low kick is in red and blue, but Mankey and Primeape were unable to learn it naturally until yellow version is what we're, is what we mean. Professor Oak, what are you doing here? You're Mr. Fuji now. The plot has changed. Okay. Give me the polka flute. By the way, getting the polka flute early in the randomizer is useless because rescuing Mr. Fuji is what moves the Team Rocket member out of uh, the Sylphco building. So you can can't enter there until you save him. So there's no point in getting it early. I got an early polka flute once, and my heart sank when I realized that you still had to do it anyway. Okay, um. Now that we've done this, I guess I may as well catch a random Pokemon and teach it cut. Hang on. I think uh, there's a hidden item up here I can grab. Grab that first. Soda pop. Imagine me finding that after going through Rock Tunnel normally. I would have been pissed. <laughs> I would have been super pissed. Anyways. That's that. Now we need to head back over here. Mmm. You check the grass right here. Hang on, let's go over this way. See, he moved out of the way. Just yeet the Master Ball at something. I need to get the Master Ball out of my inventory anyway. There's no other gifts I can really get. I need something that looks like it'll most likely learn cut. Probably not you. I know that the compatibility can be random, but if it would normally learn cut, it should still be able to, I think. Don't quote me on that. This thing doesn't really... <sighs> this tool isn't exactly upfront about every single thing it does. Grab some extra stat experience while we look for something. I just want to go beat up Surge because I need his badge to use fly. And at least the Tranquil should be able to fly. But I can't get it without cut. That's a Slugma. Bro, this is where you find it normally, right? No, Cycling Road is. Alrighty. I say we go near Vermilion. This grass here is not giving me cutters. How 
I'm on my bike. You don't actually need the bike, because you can do the cycling road skip with without anything. But obviously the bike's faster anyway, so if the goal is to beat it quickly, you want it. Give me an encounter. Give me an encounter. Suddenly Mr. Streamer has um, the godlike speedrun luck. There we go. Yes, Piplup can- Oh, hey! Oh, hey, Rush Ram, how you doing? Can you learn cut? I hope so. I'ma just yeet it at you, why not? I'm tired of waiting. I don't want to replace a move on Empoleum, because I need him to fight. Found in fields and mountains, mistaking them for boulders, people often step on or trip on them. Please, 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 I'm begging you, I'm begging you, I'm begging you. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness I have Reshiram to use cut on this team. Explosion, Air Slash, Twin Needle, Ice Punch. It's replacing Geodude's entry, yeah. Okay, now let's go beat up Lieutenant Surge. You know what I also could have done? No, I don't think you can skip cut entirely because you need it for too much. Um, do this. Could also get Koga's badge and just surf around the tree. Okay, everyone knows about the glitch now, right? Because people still call me stupid when I check the cans a certain way. That's why I put it in the, seek in the uh, glitch video. Nope. 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 Hey, there's a switch. Okay. So there's a 50% chance that the second one is just gonna be in the top left corner no matter what. Nope. Damn it. So it's always the most likely to check the top left one no matter what. Let's do this. Excellent. The rule that it has to be next to uh, the first one is a complete freaking lie, because the glitch messed it up. They messed it up with the programming. There it is. Excellent. Hydrate. Don't mind if I do, Mr. Bear. Okay, let's get badge three. Oh, yeah, you need cut to reach Erica. Oh, it's Lorelei. Lorelei would make me dig through trash. This is revenge for stealing the bike, basically. Seal. Punch it. Got blue Pokemon today. I am clearly too powerful for her. Skip Loom. Wow. Thirty-nine. Oh yeah, I guess you do get the stat boost from random badges too in Gen in uh, Gen Gen One. I don't think I've gotten a key item from a gym leader TM, but it was actually wait, it was actually TM eleven, and it was Shockwave. What are the odds? Wow. Okay, everybody, now that we have that, I guess we should just go right to Erica. Or better yet, I should probably go pick up Fly. Fly would make it easier to teleport back to Pokemon Centers right away, so I don't have to take the annoying walk back from Erica's gym. As soon as I pick up Fly, I can just go right back to Celadon. I hate how the bike just gets disabled like that. I wonder if anyone's ever made a quality of life mod that just makes it so you can press select for the bike. And also disable its music. Alrighty, let's go get it. He evolved his thing into a Team Rocket member. Person swimming over there. Hello, Captain. I used a Master Ball and a Reshiram just to have it use Cut. That's just how I roll. All the guards are birds. No question it. Her- wait. 
Her Pokemon is just, uh, some random dude. Yun. That didn't sound like a Firo. Okay, let's teach it. The bikers are ladies down there. Biker ladies. Reshiram can normally fly, can it? Okay, we got the fly now. That's good. Firo's a guard. No, that wasn't even a guard sprite. That was more... That was actually the, uh, the SSN waiters. But I guess they do use those as the guard sprites in Gen 2, don't they? Calling it now. Erica is gonna be... Gosh, I don't know, a Team Rocket member? Let's see... Oh, no. Oh, this gym is great. It's full of women. Let's go. I was getting bored. Just a fish person chilling outside. This gym is great. Oh, hey, it's Blaine. There's an explode. Damn, I'm over leveled as heck. Ooh, sorry, I'm peeking the microphone a little bit, aren't I? Here comes Haunter. Surf it. Mouth. Charmander! It's green version Charmander. The one that looks like it may or may not have a little horn on its back. Phantump. I feel like they should have just made the blobby part uh, the color of its eyes, like black. It just looks like Syrup Ghost. My makeup! Oopsie. I don't want to check the Pokedex. The Warden? You better not un underestimate girl power. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just imagining Lieutenant Surge now wearing, like, a shirt that says girl power. But he says, like, girl, like, with, like, lots of R's and L's onto it. <laughs> Welcome to the gym, soldier. You're about to get a taste of girl power right here. Girl with, like, G-U. R-R-L, yeah, that one. There we go. Aurora Beam. Just imagining Surge being like that. And then he flexes. His parents raised him right. Now let's get rid of Scatterbug. Oh, beaten. Hello, lovely weather, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Let's find out what Erica is. It's just a swimmer guy. <laughs> okay. Pig Knight! Well, this will be easy. Excellent. This will be super duper easy. Normally, she has, like, fully evolved Pokemon in Tangula. And then in yellow version, she just has Weep and Bell and Gloom instead. Ooh, ooh, Chinchilla. Chad, does it look like it's doing a run or a jump? Its foot looks weird. Well, that was easy. should make room for this. Aw, oh, damn it. This is gonna be the death of me. Hang on. I'm tossing some of these crappy TMs I picked up. I don't even want to sell them. Let's see here. Yeah, this group of three TMs right here, they're not, like, they'll barely even give me anything for selling E anyway, so... The Sylph building does have a lot of items, but the problem is by that point in the game, you can't even, like, get anything else that will let you skip much. DM26. Mega Drain. Let's find out how true that is. Double Kick. Nah, 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 nah. 
can pretty much uh, get rid of HM Fly. I don't need to carry that no more. No, no, no. Can't fly in Reshiram. Okay, next we're gonna take the cycling road. Yeah, Steel and Dark's in this. Empoleon, Steel, Steel. It should say, say Steel type when I check it. Yep, Water, Steel. I have no idea if those stats are good for this point in the game. They should be. His Gen 1 stats are weird compared to literally every game after it. Okay, we're healed up. We ditched some items, made some room. Now let's go wake up Snorlax. What am I doing? What am I doing? I can also... Ditch the Poke Flute as well. No, sorry, not the Poke Flute, the Sylph Scope. The Poke Flute I can keep as infinite uh, awakenings in battle. I didn't find strength, so I have to go into the Safari Zone for the Gold Teeth, sadly. I don't think I've ever found the Gold Teeth outside of the Safari Zone yet. Bully ladies on the cycling path. Watch out for them. Do, 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 do. Don't have to fight them. Can't make me. Of the three Pokemon I got, one of them damn well better learn strength. I don't think there's any other HMs I need to worry about now. That's like the last of them. We got cut. Surf, just need something for strength for Victory Road. The only places you need strength in Gen 1 are, um, Seafoam Islands and, and Victory Road. That's pretty much it. I suppose we could just go beat Koga first. Wait, I just realized something. I just realized something. If I beat Koga first, I can use Surf to skip through the Safari Zone to get the teeth faster. That'll save time anyway. Why didn't I think of that in previous runs, goddammit? Let's go do that. Teddy hugs, indeed. Ooh, woo. Chat, you can't just keep posting oohs in my chat. People, The new people will think we're cringe. You don't want to do that. You don't want viewers to think we're all cringe here. Oh, hey, it's Agatha. What are you doing? Cringe. Don't type it like that. Poison types, no problem. Defeated her. Random lady down there. Oof. She's got four. Mantine, damn. Hoping for more Pokemon I can just sweep easy. Um, the levels here are, are a bit higher, so... Oh god, don't, don't, don't. Okay. I still haven't bought Ice Heals. I'm gonna, I'm gonna regret not doing that, I swear. Only nine levels ahead. Obviously, the fact that I skipped so many locations at this point is kind of an issue. But I'm still higher level, so it's, it's more than good enough. Napoleon actually can... Absolutely do this. That's what I'm trying to say. Sir is up, everybody. I'm done for. You're not a juggler. What are you talking about? So let's go ahead and get some battles in with these things. The whole chat is cringe. There's a Chandler. I suppose that's true. Chat, if you're all cringe, then you're all free. Shadow Sneak. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Baby Mole is down. Call the home safety hotline if you got one of those. That Salamence is looking a little scary. Ooh, he tried to use a poison move on me. Do they... I wonder if the AI in this game can't account for Dark and Steel. You're super weak to Ice, bro. Nice. 
42. Chat, I can't remember. What is the... Um, what is the highest level of the final rival battle? I can't remember. Uh, was it like 50, 60 something? I want to say it's like low 60. Like, okay, look at you. That is a slurp, slurp puff. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of Smile Dog, how it's just staring right at the viewer. Hello there. Look into my eyes. I want to say 65. Okay, we can make that. Easy. We've got good typing, good variety of moves, and good stats. Like, we're set to freaking sweep. Only one candy, though. Never depend on candies. Always treat them as extra. I just slash. No problem. I don't know how this game handles I just slash. Like, what form does it assume it's in? Either way, it's dead. Sonic Boom. Forty-three? Not bad. Everything's over a hundred now. Drop my balls, that's what they said. Alright, let's do it. By the way, one thing I want to look into this year, um, Miner's been telling me about like the Arp of Ar uh, the Arpipelago randomizer tool. Is that how you say it? I don't recall. But it's a randomizer that can actually combine games. But it just looks like it's going to be a pain in the ass to set up, so I've been putting it off, but... Supposedly, if it works right, you can do something like combine Pokémon with Link to the Past, so you can find, like, Link's Boomerang and Pokémon and then switch over to Zelda to use it there. I don't know how many games it's compatible with, but it seems really impressive. See, like, if you could just mix and match games like that, that would be really sick. If there's Pokemon in Resident Evil, I'd love that. Being able to work with the, the Resident Evil 1 remake randomizer would be fantastic, because that one's one of the best randos out there. Zekrom. Okay, then. Got Crab Hammer on a Water Steel? Bro, what are you doing? That would be so funny if I could just, like, explore the mansion and find a Master Ball on the ground, and then it's like, alright, let's switch to Pokemon and use this. That would be amazing. There are over 500 games for it already. Holy crap, that's far along, more far along than I thought. For a while, it was just um, the the Super Metroid slash Link to the Past rando. Oh, how generous, a Pokeball, you jerk. <laughs> a Pokeball for your trouble. I know that there was also something that combines Ocarina and Majora's Mask, but that one obviously sounds a bit more realistic considering they're built in the same engine. Let me see. I did promise a lot more randos this year because I feel like I didn't do enough of them last year. A couple months back, I did do another Resident Evil 1 rando though, and that was cool. And then there was the RE4 one earlier this month. Resident Evil is fantastic for randos. Depending on the game, really. Okay, so now we're gonna go get the gold teeth. Who's in the zoo? Oh no, they locked up Team Rocket. They put out oh, the. This guy's being punished for being late to work. Find out about him. Chansey. Yeah, it's Chansey, alright. That's a fish. That's a fossil. Oh, yep, locked up for crimes. <laughs> um, at GDQ, you saw an Ar archipelago run uh, between Muse Dash and Hat in Time. Really? Sick. Excellent. Dude, I gotta look into more fancy stuff like that. Um, yeah, let's do this. It does feel like random, uh, randomizer one-offs can be good for the algorithm, too. 
I play a lot of games that go on for like 40 something parts, so it's easier for a new viewer to just see a one-off rando and be like, oh yeah, I'll watch that. Because <laughs> they're not going to jump into like Pokemon Blaze Black Part 80. I don't actually remember where I am right now. Oh, okay, I remember now. I need to go up from here. I took a quick shortcut through the water, but it's not that amazing of a shortcut. Oh, hey. Don't really need anything for strength. TM8. If this teaches strength, I'm just leaving. Super Fang. Blah. You can add more than two games with uh, the rando tool as well. Damn, that's cool. TM49. Everything is a damn TM today. Thundershock. I'm just gonna toss these, because they're gonna take up room, and I don't have t a time to sell them. Gen 1 bag is too small. Okay, should be down over here. Gold teeth. Okay. Moonstone. Well, that's pretty freaking worthless. Need a good computer to run that many games, though, because it needs to run them all at the same time. I mean, yeah, fair enough, but I literally did just get a new top-of-the-line PC because I had to replace mine, right? Let's try and pick up as many items as we can with the remaining time. Um, does anyone know if Resident Evil games are in that? Is it among the 500 games? I'd love to try it out if that's the case. Really? <sighs> that's worthless, dude. I need to get this out of my inventory now. Karate chop. Oh, God. Ugh, just having this in my inventory makes it active. Yay. Okay, let's get the thing in the little island, and then we can just leave normally. Max Repel. Music was fading there. What, so there are some randomizers I keep, I've been putting off for a couple years, because they're, they'd be a long playthrough. Like, Explorers of the Sky? Um, I've done the main story of that. For Explorers of the Sky, now I'm just turning it on once in a while, so I can, um like, recruit all the Pokemon, but I would love to replay the story uh, with uh, with everything randomized. That's what I'm trying to say. Hang on, where the hell do I need to go? Uh, Saffron, yeah. Can't toss the experience all. I have to... I have to box it. There we go. There's a Red Rescue Team rando in development, too. I'd love to try that, too, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of games I really want to play, but I never have time for them. <laughs> oh, right. I didn't give the gold teeth yet. That's fine. We don't need strength until Victory Road, so I can just get it later. I need to make space is the big thing. I don't need Pokeballs anymore. I don't need this TM. That should be good. Excellent. Alrighty. Now then... We may as well hop in here first. I know the quick path through here. The, all the trainers here are really low level, even in vanilla, so... It's not really worth it to loot this whole building. Especially since, um... I mean, unless you find early card key. But I've never had that happen. The card key is piss easy to get anyway. It's on this floor. And then I can just go right to red, or blue, green, whatever his name was. I know what his name is, don't worry. Whenever I hear the Sylph theme, I always think about the, the office building location in Pokemon Nightmare Invasion. Because I think it just plays, oh hey Suicune, you're looking a little wobbly there. It, it always plays like a meaty sound file of that theme there. 
Um, drain punch it, I guess. The level's fine. Payday. Okay, then. This year, I absolutely am trying to play a lot more stuff, for sure. Too much- too many crappy things happened last year, and I just couldn't get to a lot. In fact, like I mentioned earlier, tomorrow I'm playing Earthbound for the first time. There it is. So that's another big one on my list. Nightmare Invasion feels so nostalgic at this point, I know. I'm- yeah. Probably think about it so much because... hang on. You can try for a random item. Great ball. Ew. Probably playing, like, Pokemon Dusk and Dawn and Nightfall and all that. Maybe think about it. There's Joy's crying. Okay, let's just go to the exit. We got the card key. I think that was the floor, actually. Or was it one more down? No, okay. Up here. The games are a little bit edgy, but they are very fun. They embrace the cringe a little bit, so it's cool. Fool me. And again, the fourth game, Pokemon Nocturne, um, that is being translated basically just, <laughs> just for me, so there's no rush on that, because those games are originally made in German, but it might not be ready for ne Halloween next year, no big deal. Whenever it's ready, it'll be ready. I think Miner said that there's like four times as much text as uh, the last game, so that might take a while. Okay, took you out. I give up. I am looking forward to Earthbound. Or later this year, sorry. This Halloween, I guess I should say. But it might not be ready for that. Um, alright, let's fight the rival. Let's do it. I played Mother 1 for the first time during, um... Ah. You see, Mother 1 for the first time last summer, and I've been craving Earthbound for a bit. Um, hang on, Minard says, you might- you're literally learning German right now, because you might join RPG Stars formally. Wait, 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 that group is still around? I thought it was just Mr. Prinz, because it didn't seem like Zargoth was active anymore. Also, that was an unfortunate hit. I'm not too underleveled here. Or I'm overleveled, but... Ooh, okay, let's do this. Selgor is obviously fast. It's in the name. Oh, right! I guess, you know what we can also play? It, uh... Is it trying to breakdance? <laughs> Why does it look like its mouth is on its chin? Or neck? Look at it. Hang on. Yeah, um, remind me to add this to the spooky horror game list, but, um, Mr. Prinz, the dev of Pokemon Dusk, Dawn, and, uh, Nightfall, they have an, they have a, an original game that's on Steam called Sinners, and it essentially is a game that looks like it's made in, um, with Pokemon assets, but it's legally distinct enough that it's not. I did want to take a look at that. Let me see... I keep saying I play that game, but I have put it off, haven't I? I think Miner said you can still see the Pokemon influence, because it clearly started development as another uh, game in that series. But I don't know. Furfro should not have... Oh, here we go. Here we go, everybody. Fire spin. No abilities. Just gotta punch it. Oh, okay. Hang on. Pass a turn. You see, RPG Stars is a team of a few. Oh, it's still hitting. It's outspeeding me. I need Fire Spin that just missed once. Let's see. Alright, it hit it again. Let's just do this. R RPG Stars is a team of a few, Mr. Prinz, um, Luwik, G. Rigo, and two others. I'm not sure if I said their names right, because that's all German, right? 
Dude, just miss once. <sighs> okay, here we go. Gonna have to switch in here. Kinesis. Maybe I can freeze it. Wait. Good AI is making him do this. Hang on. He's not gonna fire spin Reshiram. Yes! 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 This is what I needed to happen. Get memed on, soldier. Big brain streamer. He won't use fire spin on Reshiram because it's a fire type. Good AI. <laughs> I can't believe that worked. That was disgusting. But it outsped me and I was fire locked into fire spin. I'm lucky I had those potions to heal me a little. Oh, a jump bluff you shouldn't have. Jump bluff is very intelligent. Level 15, and let me check it. Ooh, that's an extra fluff right there. I actually like that sprite. That's cool. Shadow Punch, Bite, Try Attack, and Air Slash. Try Attack is bad in Gen 1 because no status effects on it. Which is dumb because I thought that was literally. The oh my god, the President's a Clefairy! <laughs> you know, maybe we shouldn't help them. Maybe we don't need to help them after all, chat. <laughs> so fluffy. Amazing. The Cleffas are controlling Kanto. It's all a conspiracy. Let's get my health back. What were you saying before that battle distracted me? The RPG stars. I remember you said, my nerd, um, because you've talked to Mr. Prince, right? Oh, Jesus. Hang on. Aurora beam it. Um, didn't you say the reason they've, um, dialed back game development is because they had a kid or something? Because, like, you gotta remember that, like, I think Pokemon Dusk and all that, those came out around, like, 2015, 2016 initially. Let me see here. Okay. And Zargoth was making another Pokemon horror game, but it wasn't finished. I did play what I could of it. Uh, what was it called? Nightmare Prophecy. Yeah, Pokemon Nightmare Prophecy. You can probably find that on the channel, too. I hope I remember to put the Pokemon horror fan game playlist in the description. People can click that and marathon and see what the hell I'm talking about. Especially since these randomizers are a good way to bring in new viewers, so... May as well plug the stuff, you know what I mean? Oh, that's quite an upgrade there. Um... Okay, nice. I made his attack fall. I was kind of hoping that would happen. Oh, especially since he's got a ground move. Why does Palkia have, like, a brown color there? Why not, like, pink? Oh, come on. Don't do this. Well, now I gotta use that revive. I gotta buy more revives, too. Can't Bone Rush Jump Bluff. I played it real risky by not buying some extra healing items before coming here. I was a little too confident. Nightshade! Okay, maybe I get one move. Guard special. Yep, yeah, there I go. Okay, Empoleon should be able to finish this off now. Did he get a multi-move uh, multi crit? Did he actually? I didn't notice that when he killed Empoleon. Because I think if the first attack gets a crit on multi-hits, all of them are crits. Fury attack, bro. No, 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 no. Speaking of multi-hits... Mantine. Must be fine. Can two-shot it. He wasted his turn doing that. Gumi! Let's go. You see, sorry. Hang on, Minard says Mr. Prince had a kid who is now a few years old and parenting takes up less time for them now. Oh, okay, so that's why they're doing stuff. That's cool. A 
Calcium? Well, that's better than a Master Ball, actually. I'll take it. Unironically, better than a Master Ball. <laughs> oh, I don't have an escape rope. Well. Imagine, like, walking into the boardroom and damn, it's President Clefairy. Let's go. Let's get out of here. There's not much in the way of skips we can get anymore. May as well go get strength. Hang on. Who else is left? Uh, we need to beat Sabrina, Blaine, and Giovanni, then just make a beeline for the Victory Road. We only just hit the two-hour mark, too. This is great. We're making good time. Okay, first, go to Fuchsia. And we are gonna go and get strength. Before we forget anything else. Is this the right one? Yes, it is. Okay, let's find out what they have. Okay, good. Let's just let Reshiram do it. Unironically, Ice Punch was nice there. Hold up, I can hydrate in a second here. Okay. Ooh, that's actually good. Ugh. Just took a quick hydrate there. Drain Punch is something that it always gets dangerously low on PP, so let's use it on that again. Oh, what am I doing? I need to fly. Um... Yeah, let's just go fight Sabrina. Oh, um, I just realized I still need to go into Cinnabar for the secret key. That's a tad annoying. I don't think I've ever gotten early secret key now that I think about it. Luckily, with just a couple max repels, you can run through that. We're gonna stop by the shop before we go into Sabrina, though. see here. Hyper Potion. Let's buy some Max Repels, the ones we'll use for, like, the rest of the game. Escape Rope. Give me two of those. Actually, yeah, a couple of these. Should have bought some earlier. Oh, full heals. That's good. And revives for the road. Now let's sell some stuff we don't need. Don't need the antidote. Don't need the paralyzed heals now. Sell this. Don't need the super repels anymore, because we got max repels. Soda pop is another heal, I guess. Don't need the great ball. It's all about making space. Okay, we good. Clefairies and Clefas are evils, chat. They're evil, I tell ya. Never trust them. That's how they rise up the corporate ladder. They're good at backstabbing. Let's see if I can still remember. I didn't practice this beforehand. No, hang on, hang on. I think it was... I think it was this one. Yeah, there we go. Still got it. And I believe this is one of the gems the escape rope works on. Oh, it's a cool F. Or alligator. Let's do it. Or alligator is looking very feral there. Ew, it's licking me. Punch. We're in Florida now. Punch the gators. Oh, here we go. How about I burn you? I feel like my... their special is too low, so... Let me try using Stab Surf instead. I'm gonna run out of Drain Punches on this thing. This is the only move it has to use on me, because it doesn't want to use any water moves. Wismer! Oh, that looks cute. That's actually a really good one. 
Ew, it's biting me. It's not cute anymore. Punch it. This will heal me. Mini tight. Oh, that looks weird. That looks like legally distinct Smurf, not Medi tight. A little too cursed. Oh, not one of these again. If it uses Spore and Double Team, I'm gonna throw something. Ooh, nice a crit. Oh, it's Double Teaming. Oh, it didn't work. Raikou is a scary gremlin. My speed isn't above 100. Let's see what she gives. Forty-six. Why do I feel like I've gotten TM forty-six plenty of times by now? TM seven, Psy Beam. Better than Psy Wave. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? And now we save time. Okay, with nowhere else to go, let's go to Cinnabar. That cat gator was the scariest thing she had, and all it could do was lick. Uh, Mampolium Surfs. There you go, you dingus. Okay, chat, you know where we're going. Who's gonna be on the ocean? Scientists? Guys taking the day off from the shop. They stay to the side, keep out of their path. Almost there. Floating sci scientists, they're walking on water. Gen 1 requires you to walk in the Pokemon Center or use it. I can never remember. But I may as well just use it. Because I didn't use it after um, beating Sabrina. Okay, chat. I need you to remind me. Because every time I never remember. Which hole do you fall down? Left or right? Because it's opposite in Fire Red Leaf Green and it makes me lose my mind every time. Okay, let's get through this. Check out that illusion stuff right there. Let me see. That's over there. I think we need to go up. We're not worrying about items here. They're pretty much useless at this point. There's no other skips we can really do. Unless one of them happens to have the secret key, but I'm not betting on that. I swear it's left. Okay, you're right. It's so weird, like, in Fire Red Leaf Green, you have to fall down the right hole, but if you fall down, it's the left one in original. I don't know why they changed it. It's so awkward. Another Drain Punch TM. See, we're already almost done. If you know what you're doing here, you do it right. Secret key, DM32. Can't see me. And another reason I always want to use repels in here is because the tile set is very hard on the eyes, let's be real. Hang on. I'm gonna get the item here, I guess. So when it has the flashing for the encounters in this place, it, it, it's really annoying to look at on the eyes, so I prefer to be done with the mansion as soon as possible. Maybe it's right in Japanese, red and green. I don't know, I'm pretty sure it's only the Cerulean Cave that has a different layout between red and green and red and blue. Old Amber. <laughs> okay then. I think the last few runs I've forgotten to bring escape ropes for this part and I always cry about it. I <laughs> have to make the walk of shame out. All right, let's go deal with Blaine. Hang on, I should make sure I throw something away. It's bulldoze, no thank you. 
Make sure I have room for his TM. Wait, we're gonna go ahead and just fight these guys. Oh, they're Koga. Because we could use the extra experience points going to the, um, to the Elite Four. So far for vitamins, I found two PP ups, an iron at the start, and the Clefairy gave me a calcium. Oh my god, what happened to you? Pop ip. Pop bop. Meloetta. Oh, that's a nice looking one. Kill. It's using Growl. Ooh, that's a lot on there. I'm not sure what my actual record is for the length of these things. You can't move for a while after battles here because, um... The game has to load the every single door every time. It's, it's really weird. This is one of the wonkiest rooms in the entire game. You just showed up and heard that Clefairy is a good source of calcium. No, 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 it gave me a bottle of calcium. I didn't, like, devour it for its nutrients. That's what Clefas do to other Pokemon. Okay, hit it with Flamethrower. I feel like I don't have too many opportunities to spam Flamethrower. Totodile? <laughs> What's with that face? Yeah, I'm like a Totodile and stuff, aren't I? Yeah, I'm totally a Totodile. Punch. There we go. Amoongus. Take this, Fungus. Totally dial. Wow, my studies. Can't move, can't move, can't move. There we go. I just like fire Pokemon. Looks like a 2007 Rage comic face. Good lord. Ooh, that one's crusty and spooky. And also looks like it's, uh, it's stuck in a box, which is very accurate, considering it, the sprite limitation. It looks like it's hitting the, the box limit. Thundershock. Well, at least he didn't paralyze. Nice. It even has to load the doors that are already, like, disappeared. It's like it's loading the event tiles of the door, if that makes sense. I get to show off a bunch of random knowledge when I play these things. That's another fun part of randos. It's also why I prefer to, like, learn some games a bit on my own before I randomize them. I only did one Super Metroid randomizer, but I kind of want to grind that game again. Because, um, that one is fun, but my god, I'm, I'd be so rusty for Super Metroid right now. Oof. Fixing my seat here. He doesn't employ burglars here. They're all Koga. Oh, hey, Thunderous. What are you doing? Um... It's going for Harden. Critical hit. I'll take it. Azelf. Look at that face. That's the face of willpower right there. Quick attack. Twenty twenty, the devil's number. Oh, good defeated yet again. Yowza, too hot. How's it going? Fire is weak to H two O. Did I buy hyper potions? I don't think so. I could just use up that one random soda pop I have left, just to top up my HP for Blaine. As soon as we're done fighting Blaine, we can go right to Giovanni. We haven't even hit two and a half hours, and we're about to get this far. This is by far, um, one of the best runs I've, I've ever had in terms of, like, key item luck. 379. Excellent. Excellent. Wait, me? I'm... I'm the gym leader, chat. 
Oh, I'm already full health. <laughs> Oops, I didn't realize I healed from that drain punch. It's me, everyone. It's me, the youngster. Camera up. Uh, that doesn't look very flattering, not gonna lie. Let's get rid of it. Quickly. Quickly. Seal. Punch it. Just a good old youngster hanging out. Super potion. Oh, Blaine. Blaine, Blaine, Blaine. Oh, good. He's thunder waving me. I'm gonna deal with this. Don't do it again. <sighs> right. He makes his moves after. Going for fire blast. He doesn't have to win, he just has to waste my time. That's right. Okay, go Lurk. I'm gonna go ahead and just heal this Paralysis right quick. Good job using a Super Potion on your full heal Pokemon. Blaine has very strange AI, yes. He, uh, he does big brain decisions sometimes. Everybody got Sligo today, it feels like. Look at him. His highest level is almost on my level. See what happens when you skip too much? You go from being overpowered, but it's a strategy. An important strategy. Um, beating trainers in Giovanni's gym might be a good idea. It also helps that... Oh, right, um... Blaine's badge... Yeah, it heightens special abilities. So, both special attack and special defense get a decent buff. Just by having it. So that's really good. What do you give me? Uh, that's like the fifth leech seed. <laughs> Bro, I don't need that. Let's go. Hang on. Let's go ahead and just sell that. What do we got here? What do we got? Buy a few more of these for the road. Make sure we got enough. I'm gonna need some hyper potions now. That'll do. Okay, and now we're gonna go ahead back to Viridian City. We're gonna heal, and we're gonna go pop in the gym. There's like one random item just chilling in the gym there for some reason. Maybe pick it up. Okay. On the bike. Let's go get it. And fight some of these guys too while we're at it. TM34. Man, I am getting nothing but crap TMs I don't want. Pedal Dance. Okay, that's fine, but don't need it. I was hoping for another rare candy at some point. I'm just gonna use the one rare candy I have before we fight, like, go into Lorelei's room or something. Okay, they went back to 39. Trainer levels are relatively low. Dude, what? You did not just lift that and hit me with thunder. You scum. It was a crit. Story of my life. Oh, I got another crit. Revenge. Amoongus. Excellent. Barely used any PP, so we'll just go ahead and use a hyper potion. Or I think I have a single max potion that's taken up room. Yeah, let's just use this up. And I can splurge on full restores when we get to the very, very end. Grabbing a couple extra EXP by popping these fellas here. The skips were ridiculous, but it's still funny how it's still possible to get, like, item luck that could save even more time. Let me see. I mean, that Viridian Forest was hype. That was probably some of the best randomizer luck I've ever seen. Oh, right, you're not water ground yet, are you? 
or critical hit, didn't matter. Okay, she had weaklings. And maybe just him for an extra trainer, and then we can fight the two that are required up there, and then go fight Giovanni. Giovanni can have- has five Pokémon, so they could be- high chance it could be something stupid, right? Okay, we punch the dugong. Get rid of that goofy face. Okay, it blocked off their text a bit. And a whole lot to that right there. Yeah, let's hydrate. Let's do it. Oh no! Come give me a hug! You won't regret it. Come um, hug the cactus. Good lord. That thing is spooky. The bike shop guy. Why does the bike shop guy has a, have a unique sprite? You ever think about that? Maractus got run over by a truck. Ooh. Moments like these we carry an ice attack for. Also, that Dragonite is very illegal. Die. 51. Nice. Esper has that far off stare. Let's kill it before it causes issues. Oof. Whenever you see a Pokemon like Excelgore, you know with that it's just going to outspeed you. Mimic is such a bad move, like, why doesn't Mimic, like, let- you know what it should do? Not only should it let you learn the move, but you, it should let you immediately use it upon learning it for that turn, right? A fast Pokemon like Excelagore might actually get some use out of it in that situation. Okay. Hang on, you know what? I'll fight you two. Because I want that extra experience. The earlier people had unevolved Pokemon, and it looks like you do too. Damn. Take it down. We still haven't seen any Teddy Ursus. I don't think it's in it's in the Pokedex. Remember that only so many Pokemon can be present at a time. I think like the limit is uh, the physical limit of the memory is like 251. So it can't include every single thing up to Gen 6. But that's in the pool for randomization. Well, that was a little bit. Hang on. Use up that one random soda pop now. Teddy is a starter. Teddy would make a wholesome starter. We did do that for Teddy version, though. Okay, let's do it. It's Bruno! Uh-oh. Okay, then. No problem. Okay, it's just gonna go for Leech Life. Bug Buzz. It doesn't have anything. Oh, no, it made my special fall with that. That sucks. Oh, you okay there, Snow Runt? I should still be strong enough to sweep these gremlins here. Okay, nine tails. On the flip side, when going through like the Elite Four and all that, there's a good chance that they could have unevolved Pokemon I could sweep too. Or something ridiculous. I'm not scared of you. Come on. Guard special? Yeah, come on, Murrow. Zap cannon and you hit? Oh, yeah, it's disgusting. Well. Well! Let's revive you. Maybe I should have been scared of him. Okay, let's do that. Okay, oh, he's locked into rage because he doesn't want to use an electric move on Reshiram. This is perfect. This is literally perfect. <laughs> Gen 1 rage. 
Welcome to your future now, Electrode. Dude, Reshiram, because of its typing alone, has been great for manipulating AI. It's great. Okay, it's going Rage. I got my special back, Jerk. I'm about to run out of Surfs. Had to use a lot of them in here. Yeah, good for Reshiram. Got three left. Level 50. It's so overpowered anymore. I don't remember if the Earth Badge gives you any stat benefits. I think it just ends with Blaine giving you the special buff. Alrighty. Fresh water. That's all. No! I didn't mean to walk on that. I don't think the escape rope works in here. And now that I'm already on the spinning tiles, I'm gonna check anyway. Yeah, you can't use it in here. It's so inconsistent which ones you can and can't use it on. What am I doing? I could just fly. Technically a faster way to get to the center than biking, I know. Even though I mismenued. I have enough stuff on me, so we can just go right to the thing here. We can go right to Victory Road, I guess. I haven't missed any gym leaders, I don't think. I got them all. Don't worry about that fella down there. What a surprise to see you here. Let's take him out. Blue wants to fight. Ooh, Tropius. We saw this at the start. Type coverage is king right now. No 53... Okay, we should be okay. 65 is like the end game fight. Yeah, we should be okay. We should, should, should be okay. Exploud. He's got a lot of evolved Pokemon right now. Okay, 53. Special's at 142. Oh, both king and queen, huh? Except for the Cherubi, he had a pretty solid team. Except my Pokemon's a lot more solid. Oh, never mind, he's got garbage, too. I thought that was his last one, but his highest level was just Skaroopy. Nice. Need more practice. I think it's been a while since I saved, so let's do this. Just oh, under two and a half hours and we're heading to the league. Good pace. Any any run that skips the um, rock tunnel is good pace, if you ask me. I feel like it's almost expected that you'll get the skip for Saffron, though. Like, um... Finding a drink is actually very likely in, when you play with random items, because there's three different drink items that you can get that let you get in there. So as long as you check everything along the way, it's reasonable that you'll probably have what you need to skip by that point. What am I doing? Empoleon has it. Another scientist walking on water. He has to judge my soul. Yep, we got the Marsh Badge. Back on the bike we go. Damn it. I walked one, walked one tile up and bam. Just a bunch of guard birds and people fl standing on water awaiting me to go by. Okay, 
Okay, Volcano Badge. Now we're gonna head up over here. And now it's time for everyone's favorite part of Gen 1, Victory Road. Did I... Um, right, I put it on Reshiram. I completely forgot for a second where I put that. Give it a little push, give a little bump, give a little jump. We'll all get there soon. I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I love moving the giant jawbreakers. It's everyone's favorite part of Gen 1. Don't they just look like they'd be just a giant sweet jawbreaker? They do, don't they? I'm only gonna take one of these. I'm taking the up one. Ether. That's actually okay. I can use that one going through the Elite Four. I'm gonna fight you. Because I could use a couple extra levels along the way. And uh, clearly I'm not gonna get them from you. Pretty much had, um, Prinplup's move set in stone after, like, the first badge. This whole fight. No, wait, I think I learned Flamethrower and Mount Moon, didn't I? Come Scyther. Wait, what? Oh, you used Flamethrower! I was like, what? Why was it not very effective? Weird. He lost out. Skip you. We need to fight all of them. Now we gotta use it again because... Gen 1 wants to make HMs annoying as possible. Push. Push. Right, forgot about you, but we'll fight you. If any of these items could be a rare candy, they'd be worthwhile, but for the most part, I don't really need anything else from them. Shuckle! That looks like an, uh, an egg with a, a goopy thing sticking out of it. And now it's dead. Chuckle has no special. Set it on fire. We can do this. 54. Remember, I gotta use that, um, that rare candy pretty much as I enter a new level. We want it to be worth a damn. Hang on, let's try Stab instead. Maybe you have more special? Okay, that was about the same. Those PPFs were well spent considering how much I need Drain Punch. Okay. The bird sprites replaced with the, the worker, so he's up over there. So far, so good. Just gonna fight this person, we'll be fine. I can get through Rock Tunnel fine without Flash, but it's a pain in the ass to go through. Okay, you're gonna give me some good chunks of change right here. Also, that's a decent Zygarde sprite. I like that. It's a good thing that most things that are weak to ice are just double weak to ice. It's handy for me. Save some PP and use an Aurora Beam on you. Excellent. Aria Dose, hit it with Flamethrower. There you go. Zigzagoon. Eh, just punch it. You got me. Pell's effect wore off, okay. I went overkill with the repels, but who cares? Now let's get rid of you two. Here comes Chandler. Only two. Kingdra, good enough. I love how Kingdra seems to be built upon Seedra's awkward Gen 1 sprite. It's neat at least. Nice, got a crit. 
Got a 55. Glamiao looks so chunky. Look at that cat. Glamiao is normally skinny as heck. I got whipped. Antinote, Glamiao. And I'll do this person here. Um, this might be the last optional trainer I'll take on. No, they only have one, it's Pig Knight. Okay. I got enough backup Pokemon to use as meat shields. Gonna make sure I save before elite, each Elite Four member in case something crusty happens. Like getting frozen or some dumb crap. Oh, don't do this to me. Let's get rid of the Pokeball and the Antidote, because we don't need those. Oh, I did it for a Great Ball. All that for a Great Ball. That's just great. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. That's going to be a rare candy. Calling it now. Absolutely calling it now. Tornadus? That's just thunderous, but green. Bop it. There we go. I mean, isn't that what the Gen 5 sprites usually are anyway? Right, yeah? That is what Tornadus is until they gave them actual forms. Look at the deer. Let's kill it. Russell is super crusty. Yes, it is. The rumors were true. Damn it. A dire hit? Really now? This doesn't even work right. It's like focus energy. Uh, strength. Thank you, friend, for the sub there. I appreciate that. For three months in advance. Hmm. Always appreciate it, chat. Hang on a second. I'm kind of choking on my own oxygen. I need a drink. <laughs> Here we go. Faster. Faster. The long, long boulder push takes forever. That right down over there? That's a rare candy. Um, it's not a rare candy, but I will take it. I didn't think of finding any more vitamins. And Polian getting buffed speed isn't gonna do much, but who knows. No reason not to use it. Okay, can ignore you. Okay, let's push this. Hell's effect wore off. Hold up, how close am I to a level? Because these are like the last trainers here. Okay, hold up. Fight one trainer. And then use the rare candy, and then we're pretty much set for Lorelei, because we're about to exit this place. Surge wants to fight. Swirlix, bleh. Let's do it. Oh, ouch. Did you hear that crack? That was like my arm when I tried to stretch a little bit. Where's the sub sandwich, Mr. Streamer? Afraid not. You guys gotta pay for those. I can't give you that. Bone meringue. Why does it feel like everybody's got this damn move today? This is the thing that's hurting me the most. Baby man tyke. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and just full heal, not play games with the paralysis. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's real unfortunate. I can buy more full heals. The polka flute animation takes too long. Not very effective. Speed has fallen. 
Hit with a roar beam. Pound. Okay, good. Mantike's down. There it is. We hit 56. Now let's make sure we have the edge when we go into Lorelei. Use a rare candy now. 57. Nice. Push the boulder in here. We're gonna fall down. Get on the bike again. Reset the darn music. Everybody get ready to push! It's like Patrick in Bikini Bottom. Everybody put the back into it. It's a good thing just bumping into it with my bike is doing this. Instead, we could also have a Pikachu or Eevee on her head, just a little, give a little boop. Alrighty, let's get the heck out of here. Got a couple levels, and I picked up a Carbos. That's all you really need. Take a moment from his Game Boy to do this for me. Okay, now we're gonna go over here. And anything to sell? I don't need the escape rope no more. Full restores. Eight. A couple more of those. The overkill. Um. Guess I might as well buy three more of these. Okay, we just healed up. Hold up. Let's see. Yep, PP's full. Let me just go ahead and make a quick save. No, I'm not doing anything else after this. I'm just playing this run today. Alright, let's get in there. Hey, it's me! Here's hoping I don't get music for the champion and I have to mute again. Because that happens like every time I play this. This champion music always gets freaking claimed lately. Head of... <sighs> I pity this dove. Let's go. We are absolutely ready. It can't do a thing to us. I got a couple ethers, so I should be fine. We're in a situation where we can just kind of spam as many moves as we want. This might... Nope, yeah, we need more. Jump kick. Okay, no problem. Jeez, when a move hits me like that... That's when we summon the teddy box, yes. Well, actually, this is the new PC, so I don't think I have two teddy box set up, but I could summon another one if we need to mute for it. Perfect. They're matching my level! Hello, you missed almost everything. That's okay. This was a bit of a surprise sudden stream anyway. So it's no big deal. How dare you? Okay, Lorelai's beaten. This looks very green in here. More green than I remember. Don't need to bother using anything. Hoo-ha. I don't remember what the Chandlers were. Oh, they're bikers. I don't think I've actually fought any of them. Uh-oh. That Meganium's head looks right, but the body looks like it's from something else. It's weird to describe. Uh-oh. Okay, this is gonna hurt if it hits me. It'll have something that'll probably hit hard. X defend? Never mind, he threw. Never mind, he threw. Just drain punch it again. Critical hit. There's level 58. Palpitoad. Palpitoad! Tisk, tisk, tisk. It looks like it had the heart gold, soul, silver head. 
Yeah, you think the head was basically just, like, uh, put onto that? But the body was drawn? It did look crusty enough. Just use an Aurora Beam, save some PP to finish things off. Luckily, I can't get poisoned because I'm Steel-type. Wait, are Steel-types immune to poison through all methods, actually? Like, poison powder counts as a grass move, so... Okay, we're moving fast. Chat, I might actually make... Hang on. I might get sub three hours. This might be the first time I do that. I need to go fast. Hope I don't have to waste a second muting the audio. There we go for the champ. Black Belt wants to fight. Cherum? Nah, that looks good. Twin Needle can poison uh, steel types in Gen 2. Yeah, it's actually a hilarious oversight they forgot about. That's the only way to poison a steel type. Gen 3 fixed it, though. It's because the only Pokemon that can get Twin Needle is Beedrill. Unless, um... Unless you count Metronome, but let's be real. We... No, we don't. <laughs> Excellent. 777. And we got lucky. Metal Claw? No, 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 no. You do not need Metal Claw. Beldum. Man, I'm getting lucky right now. They only have, like, weak, unevolved Pokémon, and I have a super effective move for it. Never mind, I shouldn't have opened my mouth. Please die in one hit. You're higher level than me. Well, I think that just answers that question. They can poison me still. The randomizer didn't make Steel-types completely immune. <sighs> I mean, I did ask, didn't I? I literally asked the question, and they delivered. Oh, we got like 12 minutes left. Let's go, go, go. Who is it? Oh, it's a little, a little friend. Hang on. I will take the time lost to do this every time. Let's do it! Who is it? It's a scientist. Five Pokemon. Finesper. Just hit it with Surf. It'll be okay. Drill Peck. Wow, this thing's got nothing. Finish with a Roar Beam. Should probably top myself up with one Aether if I can. Gotharita. This is fine. Poor Esper died. Oh, that's pretty fitting of Lance, actually. Oh, don't confuse me. That's bad. Confuse Ray is the only thing it can use on Empoleon. That's fantastic. So I just have to hit enough drain punches to out heal it. I I'll live. Oh, nice, I got a crit. Well, that solves that. Zigzagoon. I only really need to use an Aether on Drain Punch, I feel. Oh, good god! That face. Did I miss? Have I seen this before? I don't remember. Okay, we hit level 60 going into the final fight. That's good. Okay, we got 10 minutes. Come on. Oh, I'm already full health. What am I doing? All right, let's make a save. And as soon as we hear the music, I'm gonna have to mute if it's a champion theme that's recognizable. Okay. Yeah, hang on, it's Lance's theme. All right, we're gonna mute.
Chat, I'm on I'm on PV pace. So I don't have time to pull up a different YouTube track or something. You're just gonna have to deal with silence for a moment. Also, the final battle forces animations to be on. Don't know why Gen 1 does that, but it does that. Open up the track in another tab if you want. Come on, we're so close to sub three hours. The clock is at like 250 for the recording. Nice. We'll make our own soundtrack, that's right. I don't have time to even pull up the bop and bear, I'm sorry. Uh, time, I guess, is whenever the hell I, um, land the kill- the final Pokemon goes down, right? Let's do it. Palpitoad. Luckily, I'm getting things I can just- You can't even hear the music over the surf and attack <laughs> either. It's such a loud sound effect. Let's go, go, go. Baby bears? No. I didn't want to punch a bear, but I have to for victory. Oh, we absolutely have this. We absolutely have this. Haunter? Wow, he got the worst champion theme in the world. No oh, I shouldn't have talked. I shouldn't have talked. I shouldn't have talked. Oh, God, he's going to outspeed me. Oh, he's going to... Oh, great, great, great. Yes, it's fantastic. Hang on, hang on, hang on. He went for supersonic. Yeah, it's great. Great, now I can't safely switch into him. I can take one high jump kick. I just need to land the last hit. Come on, Reshiram, you served me well. Come on. Why is Haunter doing so much with a physical move? I have no idea. Because he's mean, that's why. And, yep. Look at that. Hang on. That's pretty much the time. Like, 2.52 right there. Look at that dork getting defeated. Look at that dork. Hang on a second. We need a we need a celebra celebration bear. Where is the celebration bear? I don't remember where I put them. There they are. Hang on. Yeah. That teddy is bopping right now. That bear is happy to see a victory. <laughs> Look at him. He's bumping to the little tunes. He gets to listen to all the music in the champion fight. You understand why you lost? Yeah, he understands. He just doesn't care. Alrighty. Just gonna reset on credits because the credits theme also gets claimed. I love Pokemon! Alrighty. And let's go ahead and take a look at our Pokemon. Water Steel, level 60. Shoutouts to Empoleon for winning the whole game by itself. Oh, that's what its sprite looks like. Uh, this thing was here, I guess. It, it was, in fact, here. This thing flew me around a couple times. It was alright. Saved me some time. Appreciated it. And this thing saved a few battles, unironically. I don't... Kind of ridiculous that it did, but it did. And Jumpluff was just kind of there. Uh, and let's see my final score here. 252. Pokedex rating. You still got lots to do. Yeah. Alrighty. Oh, this is it. Okay. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. It's not soft resetting. Why? Hang on, I'll do it myself. Do it myself right there. Jump Pluff looking ultra fluffy. Yes, it was. Okay. Yeah, Pokemon pinball music. Well, that was exciting, chat. A single session Pokemon rando and we beat it very quickly. The bear is absolutely celebrating as well. 
That was fun. That was easily the best luck I've ever had. Which means the next time I play this, I can only feel disappointed whenever I pick up literally anything. <laughs> yeah. Um, absolutely godlike Viridian Forest that carried the whole thing. Like, the Viridian Forest gave me two skips with back-to-back -back items. And then I found HM Surf, like, right before I left in the, in, in the hidden tile. That was great. Hope you guys had fun with this, but like I said, this was just going to be a short stream today. I turned this on for a bit. I was expecting to go, like, another half hour, because usually it takes, like, three and a half, I think. But we saved quite a bit of time, for sure. Like, 40-plus minutes, I'd say. Anyways, hang on, hang on, hang on. This is where we're going to go ahead and end the recording. If you're watching on YouTube, hope you have a good time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.